Hello everyone, Mystery e here, and this video is a tutorial on how to install mods for Darktide. It should be a very fast and easy tutorial. I do want to make a disclaimer right at the front so you don't waste any time. If you are a PS5 or an Xbox player, unfortunately you cannot mod your, your version of Darktide. You can only mod Steam and Game Pass versions. If you're playing on a computer, you have access to these modding tools, and I think you absolutely should. With that being said, let's go ahead and crack right into things. The two things you'll need to have open are your uh, directory, however you're going to get to your directory. For Steam users, just follow the what's right on screen here. For Game Pass users, just find the game directory that has the same files in it. On your other screen, let's go ahead and Google search for Nexus Mods Darktide. That'll bring us to this page right here called Nexus Mods. This, everything is on the site is perfectly okay by Fat Shark. There's nothing that's hosted on here that is TOSable or violates uh, you know any sort of uh, rules that's going to get you banned. Not that Fat Shark would ban over any of this stuff anyway. Then we're going to click on Mods at the top. We're going to go over here where it says Endorsements and do a drop down and click Downloads. Then we're going to open up our directory for our game, which means we're coming back over here and we're right clicking on our game, going to Manage, Browse Local Files, and then we will have this window open here. We can go ahead and close our Steam window at that point. Okay, so this folder right here is going to look different than yours does currently if you don't have any uh, mods installed yet because all of these are mod related files. We're going to have them in just a second. So let's come back over to this side for Dark Tide Mod Loader, and we're going to click that. We're going to click this Files button, then scroll down, and you need to click the Manual Download on Darktide Mod Loader, not the Update Only version. This is the first mistake that you could make, so make certain that we are clicking Darktide Mod Loader, the original version. Manual Download. You'll need to be logged into the Nexus Mods website. It is free, so go ahead and register and log in, then click Slow Download. In a second, it'll open up up here, and we'll need to click and open this file. Before you do anything with this file, pause and realize that there is an extract button right here and realize that the icon on the right has the zip file on it. This is the number one mistake that people make when they're doing this process is they do not unzip a file after they download it. Every file that you download from Nexus Mods will be zipped. So the first step after downloading it and opening it is to extract it. We can go ahead and extract it to just this location. That's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and close the other window to reduce confusion, and then take all of these files here, now that they're extracted, and drag and drop them into our Darktide directory. After you've done that, your Darktide directory will look exactly like mine, with all of the same files here. Congratulations, that's the first step done, and we only have two more steps to go. Let's go ahead and close out Darktide Mod Loader, since everything is now over here. We're going to go back, back to, or back one more time even, to the main page for Darktide's uh, Nexus Mods, and we're going to click on the second most downloaded mod of all time, Darktide Mod Framework. This is a great tutorial mod as well as, you know, being very integral to the whole system, but this mod will install the exact same way as every other mod will from now on. So we will open this up. There's only one download here. You'll click Manual Download, and then you'll see it pops up with this file here, this uh, saying additional files required. This will pop up anytime you are downloading a mod that has prerequisites. So for this mod, the prerequisite is Dark Todd Mod Loader, which fortunately we just installed. So we are all good to go ahead and click download here. And then we'll click slow download. It'll pop up at the top, just like last time. We will open it. Remember to extract all. Do not forget to extract at the step. Go ahead and extract. Let's close this window to avoid confusion. And then this file, we need to open our mods folder in our Darktide directory. And this file is going to be dragged and dropped into the mods folder. Your mods folder is completely empty at this point if you're still following this tutorial. So it will be your only file in there, DMF. So that will be all good and set. And now with those two in place, you are ready to start installing other mods. Let's go ahead and go back and we're gonna pick one or two other mods to install just to make certain that everything is working. The next mod I want us to install is Numeric UI. So we can keep this file directory open over here and open up Numeric UI, go to Files, go to Manual Download, go to Slow Download. It should pop up, there it goes, okay. Once you open it up, make certain that you extract this file, extract it, close the other one to avoid confusion, and then take this now extracted numeric UI and drop it into your directory. So now you will have only two files in here, DMF and numeric UI. 
From that point, you will need to scroll all the way, well, not all the way down to the bottom, you will have this file in there, this text document called mod load order. This mod load order text document needs to be populated with the names of the mods that you install, except DMF. DMF runs on its own, so the only thing you will need to have on this mod load order document is the name of numeric UI. So go ahead and open that up. Mine's obviously got other stuff populated, but go ahead and just type numeric UI in there. Make certain it is spelled exactly the same as numeric UI is with a capital N, a capital U, and a capital I. If you change any capitalizations or put any weird spaces or misspell or something like that, it won't register it as having, uh, as having loaded. Then we have one more step before we can boot the game. We are good over here. We've installed one mod. We're gonna go ahead and test it out and make certain that we have everything all set up correctly. We go back to our main directory and there's this batch file at the bottom called toggle dark tide mods. Go ahead and double click that. It'll run for you. For you, it will say dark tide is now patched to load mods. For me, it recommends that it says I need to remove the patch. Uh, we can go ahead and close that out or say no, and that will uh, keep everything the same for me. Now, this is a very important thing. Anytime there is an update for dark tide, no matter whether it is a tiny hot fix that you know, literally changes one line of text, or whether it's a massive, massive patch, you need to run that file. You need to run that batch file to patch Dark Tide to load mods again. Most mods do not break during any given update, and that is a, a problem that players often complain about, is, oh, all my mods broke and they don't work anymore. Most times they just haven't run that batch file again, so remember to do that. Now we're gonna open back up our seam, and we are going to launch Dark Tide. And we're gonna sit in silence and stare at each other while we wait for Dark Tide to launch. Okay, we're gonna click play. And we will be able to tell very, very quickly whether or not the modding in, it was correct, was, uh, was done correctly. Okay, here we are on the main screen. Let's go ahead and log in and we should be able to get to this screen right here where all your characters are and what you'll want to do once you're there is press the escape key and pull up the the pause menu so i'm here i pull up the pause menu and if you did at least the installing of the basic mods correctly you will have a a folder here or a button here called mod options. Go ahead and click that and what you should see in here if you've installed just one mod is numeric UI and you'll be able to affect any of the uh, settings for numeric UI within this window. Any other mods you installed that have settings you can change in game will appear in here. If you were having this appear, congratulations, you have correctly installed your mods in less than eight minutes. Good job. If you are not having this, uh, the numeric UI show up in here, but you did install it, you forgot to extract numeric UI, or you forgot to include it in your mod load order. And if you are not having this button appear at all, you should go back to the start of the tutorial and see if there is a, uh, perhaps a zipped file that you forgot to unzip some step along the way and make certain that everything is in the correct directory. And that's everything, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make certain you are liking and subscribing. And of course, if you would like a full download of all of my 40 plus mods with the settings included, channel members do get that privilege. I keep them up to date uh, very, very frequently as well. And uh, that's that could be a nice benefit to you if you want to become a paying member of the channel and help support me and everything I do. Thank you guys very much for watching and have a good one. Mr. Yeah, bye.